Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will bake some biscuits. It's called chocolate pinwheels. It is basically vanilla flavored biscuit dough and chocolate flavored biscuit dough assembled in similar like pinwheels. I have on this side all those chocolate flavored ingredients ready and this side is vanilla flavored ingredients ready. I will make the chocolate flavored dough at first because we are using coca powder for the chocolate flavor and coca powder mixed dough sometimes take a little bit longer time to harden up in the fridge than the vanilla flavored one which is with flour. At the end or after making the dough we will need to put our doughs in the fridge to harden up before we roll it out. So to before starting the chocolate dough making I have to do the creaming. Creaming is very important with this type of baking. Creaming is basically mixing butter and sugar until they are pale and fluffy and when, if you have electric mixture like this life will be easier when you are doing the creaming. Creaming if it is done properly it helps biscuits or cakes give really better texture for biscuits it will be really crispy for cakes you will get the texture of your cake really spongy and fluffy so make sure you are doing the creaming properly when if the recipe requires you to do the creaming here creaming is done you can see it's looking is a bit pale yellow and fluffy we will see by looking at that you can see that it has increased in volume because it has been fluffy so one thing we need to do before we do the creaming butter needs to be soft not melted at all but soft if you press gently you should be able to press easily the soft filling with your fingertips this is the way basically we test it now i will add the egg and i am using orange flavor if you want you can use vanilla flavor about half a teaspoon of orange flavor for the, with the chocolate uh, dough and again after adding the flavoring and the egg i need to mix it until the consistency will be really really like soft whipped cream i have finished beating the, after adding egg and orange zest you can see the texture is absolutely thick whipped cream there is no liquid egg mixture is left and now in this beaten mixture i have here sifted flour coca powder and baking powder i will add in this mixture to make the chocolate flavor dough and i'm keeping this bitter i will use that one it is okay i will use for the plain vanilla flavored dough at first i will start making that dough with spatula when most of the dry mixture will be incorporated will the butter mixture that time i will use only my fingers to bring everything together until they turn to be soft but firm dough here i have mixed it roughly there is no big lumps of butter mixture now i will start using only my fingers always remember when you are making this type of dough avoid using your palm because palm is warm this warmth will start softening your butter and it will end up really really soft and maybe maybe it will be absolutely 
soggy and floppy dough you will not be able to handle it it will not hold the shape as well here you can see i have got the smooth dough when you are doing this process that means making it in a dough and using it only with your fingers all along the way just keep on pressing and flipping keep on pressing the flip flipping and continuously when you will keep this way all the mixture will come in a dough it may take you three to five minutes and when you have got this dough you need to divide in roughly two equal portions you can see only my fingers i have used and this is two equal portions it, roughly it will be all right again using my fingers only i am trying to making it a disc but trying to give it rectangle shape the reason we try to make it a disc because when this dough will go in the fridge it will be hard so already if it is shaped in a disc it gets easier when we start rolling out that is the main reason that's all and if you keep it in a ball like this and making it rectangle shape and rolling it out it will be really really hectic and difficult so here roughly rectangle shape and i will make with this one as well and both rectangle discs will go in the fridge till they firm up it may take you roughly 15 to 20 minutes time and between this time i will make the vanilla flavored dough here i have got the vanilla flavored biscuit doughs made in rectangle discs this dough i have made exactly the same way i did that chocolate flavored dough only just you know use those vanilla flavored ingredients and not the coca powder and again these discs they need to go in the fridge for 15 to 20 minutes until they are firm enough to roll out so we need to wait until that time this chocolate and vanilla flavored biscuit doughs they are firm enough now one portion at a time i will start rolling out but to roll out i will need two sheets of baking paper one on the bottom and one layer here and i will put another baking paper here and then i will keep on rolling with the rolling pin in between these two sheets this baking paper will help me or when it will do you as well to make the log and handle the rolled out dough easily and when you will roll it though we are take, trying to keep the rectangle shape so it is i feel it is easier to roll from corner to corner that motion and when you are rolling it is very thick you have to have the patience but take it time be gentle so that you do not crack during rolling and every now and then hold both baking papers together flip over and roll on the other side and need to roll it fairly thick enough i will show you again when i will be done and this leftover other two portions we will handle it later and if you are taking them you can put them back in the fridge here i have rolled out the dough in between two baking paper roughly 20 by 30 centimeter size if it cracks a little bit on the side and if it does not cover totally the two layers it will not matter as such because now we will roll it to make a make a log and when rolling it it is i find that it is easier that flip it over just 
loosen this paper as well and when you will do this process if you find your rolled out door has gone really too soft put it back again in the fridge maybe roughly 10 minutes or so just to firm enough and then do the rolling process use this baking paper to guide you first layer just put it on top and you will start from your side from the long side little bit of rolling and then again roll the other bit and again use the baking paper to guide you and when you are rolling every little bit of rolling press it make sure they are neat and tight there is no gap in between roughly rolling you can use your fingers if it is hard enough to give it even thickness and to make sure there is no gap in inside the log there is no gap there and these two ends i just use my fingertips to tuck it in inside and make it even so that when i will cut before i bake i will get one really nice disc and if you prefer you can use this baking paper and give the log even thickness that's what i'm trying to do after giving that even thickness i will give it round shape I, it is not that tricky but you need to make sure you have to be a little bit gentle after making this log you will need a long plastic wrap and carefully put the lens away and get your you know on top of the plastic and with the plastic carefully that for this first bit cover and then nice and gently roll it make it nice and tight and if you want you can just give it nice round shape make it tight and this log will go in the fridge at least 30 minutes or overnight but it has to be firm enough to cut it with the other two portions the same way i will make the log and the second log you can keep them in the freezer and when you will need after few weeks just put that log from the freezer to the fridge section overnight and before you bake cut in slices the same way you will bake the fresh one you can just bake bake it so it will go in the fridge here is the log but it was in the fridge overnight and the second one i have put it in the freezer to use later so i also now i have preheated the oven so before you bake just of course unroll and then with a knife just roughly five millimeter thickness cut slices I will suggest you that at first cut all the pieces all together after cutting all the slices each slice put on your lined baking tray and keep some space in between and you need to keep put them cut side up and then it will go in the preheated oven i have got these two trays and both of them now i will put in the oven roughly i will bake for 12 to 15 minutes until they are golden brown in color time is over i have put 15 minutes for mine 
cooling rack to cool down before I store in an airtight container. Here it is pretty chocolate pinwheels. I hope you will have, have a go and have fun making this pretty looking biscuits. That recipe will be in the description box. If you have enjoyed watching this video please leave a like and if you want to watch more videos like this please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.